This weekend, 90.7 KWMU, St. Louis Public Radio, celebrated the grand opening of their new Midtown St. Louis studios. Located at 3651 Olive Street in Grand Center, this three-story, 27,000-square-foot facility includes new studios, community facilities, an expanded newsroom, and more. At 10.15 a.m. Saturday morning, General Manager Tim Eby, University of Missouri-St. Louis Chancellor Tom George, and Morning Edition host Renee Montaigne cut the ribbon and officially opened the building to the public to tour. It boasts three digital media UMSL classrooms, nine state-of-the-art broadcast studios, much more space, and a community space for public events. The facility is a large upgrade to St. Louis Public Radio's previous home, which was comprised of a few cramped offices, two broadcast studios, and an overflow trailer out back. The move will give them the space and resources they need to further their coverage of local events. One of the things certainly that we hope to do really is, is to do more, have more local news reporters that are out covering, uh, covering the region. And the specific focus on that is really built around reporters who bring a specific area of expertise. Uh, we have a list of, of beat areas that we'd like to have a reporter focusing on. Education, the economy, arts and culture. Uh, the environment and sustainability, uh, perhaps a health care reporter, all of these areas that they can contribute uh, reports during our morning edition and all things considered provide expertise during our talk show at 11 o'clock that we have every day. Uh, and then as just as important as well, they'll be pro filing for NPR so that more stories about St. Louis are showing up on morning edition and all things considered in marketplace and on the weekend shows as well. And so that's one of the main areas of emphasis um, we also want to continue to refine the 11 o'clock shows that we have with St. Louis on the Air and Cityscape. St. Louis Public Radio is also happy to be closer to institutions like the Nine Network of Public Media, their new neighbor, Powell Hall, The Sheldon, and SLU. They hope the close proximity will help form stronger partnerships and foster more collaboration. Tim Eby, the station's general manager, shared with me what it was like to finally be moved into the building that has been so many years in the making. Oh, it is so energizing. The staff is so excited about the opportunity to, uh, to be in this amazing space with all of the light and uh, the technology. The, the state-of-the-art studios that we have is really going to make, I think, the service that we provide to the St. Louis region that much stronger. So it is so exciting. Now that St. Louis Public Radio is moved in, progress is continuing on a public media commons that will merge the Nine Network and St. Louis Public Radio. According to Jack Alamachi, President of the Nine Network of Public Media, it will be a place where arts, education, and public media come together. There, I've heard talk about a walkway going next to Sluma between the campus mm -hmm. and the media commons, and a walkway between the media commons and the Fox. Yes, that is in the plans in Grand Center's larger scheme of things to try to connect up with pedestrian walk spaces to uh, you know, connect the SLU campus up to the Arts District and through our commons and then on back to the Fox and the museum district behind there to kind of create a place where people will want to you know, hang around for a little while, to walk through, make it a, a beautiful space and a space where things can happen. The Media Commons is really going to be a unique space. It's not a large space. It's about 12,000 square feet total. So it's not a huge, huge space. But what it is, is it's going to be a really a, a multimedia experience for somebody to walk in there. We'll have projected video. Plans are to have a big LED screen. There'll be smaller video uh, screens, some interactive things. One of the things that we hope that, that people can do is contribute to the space. We're, we're looking at having one of the video screens be kind of an ongoing tweet board so that if people put a certain uh, hashtag onto a uh, tweet that that hashtag will show up there. It's really just more of a gathering place where we could have events or get people together, a place where people can congregate. It's going to be really exciting and unique for St. Louis.